in this tutorial we will learn about t function so what is t function and how can we use this t function in our daily use we will understand all these things one by one with examples so first what is t function type here equal to t then click on insert function t function checks whether a value is text or not and returns the text if it is or return double quotes that is empty text if it is not that means t function will check a value that is whether it is a, it is a text or not if it is a text then it will return the same text but if it is not a text it will return a null value or blank so let's see type here equal to t so we will check this cell whether the content of this cell is a text or not bracket close enter so it returns the same text as it is in the a2 cell that means this cell is text now if i drag this till here then you can see this is also text but here it returns blank why is it so because here we have time and time is a number that's why it returns a blank in this way if you drag this cell you can see this is a date it is also a number that's why it returns a null value this is a number same then here it is a number but it is stored as text you can see here a apostrophe before the number 100 that's why it is a text and it returns the value 100 true and false so true and false actually they are a logical functions so true represents 1 and false represents 0 that's why it returns a null value 10% so this is a number it is a currency but you can see here it's 150 here in the percentage it is 10% so these are also numbers that's why it is returning a null value and for the errors it will do nothing it will show the same error so now we will understand how to use this t function in our real life so here we have first name and last name but in some first name we have zero and in some first name we have zero or blank that is a number not the text so if we want to combine these names with and or concatenate then what we'll do equal to this cell and space then this cell sorry and this cell press enter so we got the full name and if we drag here we can see it is correct but here it is Pernal is 0 so we don't want this 0 so how to do that so we'll use t function to clear this 0 equal to t bracket open select this cell bracket close and blank within double quote and this cell press enter now drag this cell you can see same problem because here in e3 we have not used the t function now you can see we will not get the zero but still we have some problem here is a space before shaha because we have used a space here that's why after Bernoulli there is also a space to remove this space we can use trim function so type here trim then go to end bracket close and enter and you can see we do not have any space before this text so in this way you can use the t function in our real life so i hope you have clearly understood this tutorial but still if you have any problem please write me in the comment section i will surely reply you and if you like this video please hit the like button 
and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you don't miss any updates from our channel thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial